I'm Cardina with CardinasKitchen.com. For those of you who have purchased the Easy Veggie Meal Plans, I trust that it's going well. And I appreciate all the comments that I've gotten on the on my blog. It's been great. I love the feedback and the interaction. So keep it up. I love hearing from you guys. So what we're going to do today, I'm going to show you how to sprout mung beans. I know I have a video that I did previously about sprouting and soaking. I'm just going to show you how to sprout, how to sprout uh, beans now, so mung beans. And uh, so we'll go through this. I'll answer a little bit more, or a couple more questions that I've gotten on the on the blog about sprouting. So hopefully I'll cover some more of that for most of you guys now. So uh, first thing, when you're, when you're sprouting and soaking seeds, get organic. All right, you're going to get less chemicals in the seeds, so it's going to be better. I, I, that's kind of a general rule anyway. Do your best, you know, try and get organic um, when possible. Uh, so what we're going to do, I'm going to use a sprout jar. Not always, not necessarily. You can always use a, a glass jar if you have one or a glass uh, bowl, you know, like a, a container that you use for leftovers or something like that. Uh, so what we'll do, we're going to put the beans right in here. And we're only going to put enough to cover the bottom of the jar and just a little bit more. The reason is is because they will this small amount of mung beans will probably expand to about right here. So almost fill the jar. So you need to leave a lot of room. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add water and it you want to add enough water to saturate the mung beans and they'll basically be floating in water. And uh, you're gonna let these sit for 8 to 12 hours. You could use a, a sprout lid if you have one. If, you're, if not, that's okay too. Um, you can just use like a solid mason jar lid, kind of put it on the edge and then pour out the water by and holding the seeds back when you need to dump out the water. But while it's soaking, just uh, make sure it, the seeds can breathe because they they're actually do need the, the uh, fresh air. Let them sit for 8 to 12 hours on the counter out of the sun. And after 8 to 12 hours, take them. You're going to drain the water. Once you drain the water, now all they need is a little bit of moisture in the jar. <clears throat> so what you want to do, open it up, put some fresh water in there, stir, swish it around. Um, you know, I have a, a filtration system. But if, if all you have is tap water, that's okay. So just give them a good little rinse. Give them a little fresh water. And then rinse that last time. Dump it out one more time. And, you know, all the water is not going to come out, which is good because you need a little bit of moisture in with the seed. That's what's going to help them sprout. And then I, I set it back here out of, out of the sun so it won't get any sun. And uh, let those sit for 12 hours. So let's say in the evening, before you go to bed, you give them a rinse. In the morning, they're going to be ready for another rinse. So that's about 12, 12 to, 8 to 12 hours. So in the morning, you get up before you head off to work. Just give them another rinse and dump it out. Dump out the water again. Let them sit. And within two days, maybe three days, you will have the sprouts and they'll be ready to go. So the good thing about mung beans is they've got a great amount of protein, or amino acids, I should say, um, calcium, iron, potassium. They also, once they're sprouted, they have more vitamin C, which is a really interesting um, phenomenon that happens with the sprouted seeds, uh, when they, they can convert and create and manufacture different vitamins and minerals. So... Um, once they, this is what they're going to look like, and I'm going to pour some into the bowl just to show you what they look like. And they have this tail on them. And uh, you could start the, the sprouting process, or you could continue the sprouting process, but no need to unless you want to, you want to uh, create little leaves, green leaves on top and uh, generate some chlorophyll. So now they're ready to use. Now in the Easy Veggie Meal Plans, I do have some recipes that incorporate these, and that's why I wanted to show these. So we have these uh, really great romaine lettuce leaf wraps with the mung beans, so, uh, sprouted sunflower seeds, and some other 
other ingredients. So really great uh, recipes in there. And you can see it's really easy to sprout these. So once you have these sprouted, just give them one last rinse, put a sealed lid on top, and then you want to store them in the refrigerator. They'll last about two weeks, and that's pretty general for most seeds and nuts and anything sprouted. You know, maybe every four days you want to give it a little rinse, dump out the water, and, uh, and then they'll, it'll, they'll keep fresh. Now, um, with the sunflower seed, or with the mung beans, you don't have to keep the water in. But with the sunflower seeds that I'm soaking over here, once you, when you put them in the fridge, you actually want to keep them in water the entire time. So um, keep them saturated in water in the refrigerator, and they'll store for a good two weeks. But always give them the smell test. Make sure they still have a fresh, clean smell. If it's, you know, anything off, I wouldn't even chance it. But, but um, you'll get a lot of use out of them. And um, just if you uh, haven't checked out the Easy Veggie Meal Plan, um, check it out. We'll have some great recipes with the mung beans and the sunflower seed sprouts. And uh, we will see you next time. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.